What's up, you beautiful people? Stone here, and today we are in a brand new adventure called Tinykin. Uh, I tried starting up the game to mess with settings, but uh, then I accidentally skipped the story because as soon as I click A, uh, this happens. Is I Ages, my hello? Planet, shining with life, the home planet of I like this guy's voice. According to what they teach in school, the first time I heard it just a few minutes ago, it made me laugh. An archaeologist and researcher in the most prestigious university in the world. And this is Nevis, my assistant. It's Nevis? That's like a little I horse relics, creature. Artifacts and fossils. And my conclusion is clear. Humans do not originate from ages, but somewhere else. Oh. Our true home planet awaits us far beyond the stars. During my research, I came across an ancient signal, clearly of human origin, emanating from a nearby galaxy. Since that discovery, I've been preparing to go and meet the originator of the signal. We've explored each planet from pole to pole, and now we found it. It's decided. Nevis and I will go to this mysterious planet to uncover the secret of humanity's origins. What? Why didn't it work for Nevis? Why does it go? This is pretty cool. Okay, vital signs okay, equipment damaged. Origin unknown. Age undetermined. Well, who's rid me? Antenna absent. Mandibles. Uh, uh, atro atrophied. Oh, atrophied. Means they got smaller. This is the main reason I really wanted to play this game because it was like, it's like a cool 3D world, but the characters are 2D and you're like super tiny in a house. I love concepts like this. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be amazing. Hey, you, you're finally awake. You came out of nowhere. I was worried you might never wake up. You seem to be okay, sorry. I've never met anyone of your species. Do you need orientation? I've set up something to help you find your way and get used to your equipment. Do feel free to have a look, okay? Alright, I'll leave you some time to get your bearings. I'll see you a bit further ahead. You know what this really reminds me of is that one survival game where you're in the, in the forest. That's like almost just like- Oh, this feels and looks so good! What the hell? Uh, R to look around? Oh, okay. So I can use this for binoculars? Why would I need that for binoculars? To see, like, important stuff? Why is there purple things? Let's do, uh, A, useful, so give it a try. Oh, do we have a double jump? <gasps> we have, like, a bubble jump? Hello? Hey, and that's literally what it's called, a bubble jump! I'm calling it, I'm so great! Wait, what was that? Hello? I like these animated cutscenes. Oh, I'm already in love with this game. This looks so cool. Uh-oh. Who saved me? Whoa! Really? Why are they so strong? Jeez. Can I open up all of these? So apparently this is what the game is. You collect these little guys. For some reason, even though I'm not really told what or who they are. And then they help you do puzzles and stuff? Wait, the tiny kid are following you? How? They normally wander around the house and ignore everyone, but they seem to like you. Tiny kid have fascinating capabilities. I may have finally found someone who can use them. For example, pink tiny kid are the strongest. They can push or carry objects. Together, they can carry even the heaviest of objects. They'll come in handy. Follow me. Are you like a moth? You kind of give me moth vibes. Oh, he is. You see this flower pot? If you throw your pink tiny kin at it, they can probably move it and unblock the passage. My free research has shown me that an object of great importance was locked under the great staircase, but there's no way in. The great stair- do I not recognize this as like a super huge world? Oh, I want to- I want to collect all the tiny kin. A bounce? Oh, cool! A bounce and round. I love that you can control the camera too. Oh, we're getting all the tiny kin. Can we climb up there? Or can we climb up the rope? I don't know. I'm just collecting all these fools. Oh, we got a saving spot. This is so awesome. Wait, so if these are just pink tiny kin, there's probably all sorts of other ones. Oh, interesting. Hey, underneath ground bits area. Wait, can we jump up? No, we can't do anything there. Why are you guys like cocooned hibernating around? What, what up with that? Can we go? What is up here? Hello. We got another rope little exploratizing I'm doing myself. How many of these guys can I even have following me? Is there a limit to my greatness? 
I don't know, but oh yeah, we got this. So we're on like a picture? This is actually, I saw this as like a cool shelf concept that I kind of want to try in my room. Just to see how viable it is. And then we got a Scott board. Oh yeah. We went all the way around and we're finally here. So wait, what's this tell me? LT. And then to throw a tiny kin? Do I have to? I literally have to. Oh no, do I have to get rid of them? Is this getting rid of them? Okay, there you go. So I was supposed to collect all of them before I can pick it up. Now do they come back? Oh, they do. Nice. I guess they just stay wherever you throw them though at first. The way is clear. Go get that component I told you about. Compo You're not really telling me much there, guy. Like, I'm just I'm just told to do things. What is this in the corner? I don't know. Oh, what the frick? Goggles? Um, do I have to get you guys to carry this? Ba 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 ba. And can I just, do I have to click those or can I hold it? And can I get a ride? Oh, it looks like I can't. They're just going. Go, boy, go. Wait, we're coming all the way this way with it? What do we need the goggles for? For that vent over there? Hello? Oh, he's going, Mr. Mothman. Wait, what is your name? I never caught your name. Are they gonna fall on this bridge? Don't fall. Just come over here. Hello. What goes on? Oh, dude, this is crazy. They're doing their little chanting march. By Ardwin. Wait, rid me, yeah. By Ardwin, the first component. If only you knew how many years I have waited for this. Oh, by the way, I'm rid me. We'll make a great team. Milodan, right? Come on in. I'll explain everything. Oh, now we're going to get the lower dump. But for some reason, you needed the goggles to do that? I don't see what the goggles will do for you. But, okay. Let's go. Hey, we're in. Wait, is that... Do you have babies around? What are those? I saw little moth boys. Welcome to my humble abode, Milodin. You see that schematic on the wall? I do. Are you trying to make a person? Once upon a time, a being known as Ardwin lived in this house. Wise and good. Many consider him as a deity. I think uh, he was more of a sage. I believe this schematic was drawn by Ardwin himself in order to assemble a machine that could go beyond the house. Beyond the house? What? With those? I spent my whole life trying to find the components, and thanks to you, we have managed to collect one already. I managed to locate the five others, however, getting them won't be that easy. Your transportation device is damaged and you need to go home, don't you? In that case, you have no other choice than to help me. Ha ha! Oh, and I have some friends to introduce you to. Prattle, the Ardwin Museum Curator, a real never-ending pit of knowledge. And Sikaru, the Nectar Brewer, who travels mountains and valleys. You should go and talk to them at some point. The house is big and you'll get tired walking around. I wasn't able to save your soap board, but I found a replacement. Take it. Soap board? Why did I need a soap board? For what? Is that to make my bubbles? Because I have a bubble machine? You can use it to slide wherever you want and get around a lot faster. It takes a little practice, but I'm sure you'll love it. Hold RB to slide around with your soap board. Try it out to see how it works. I'll see you up top. Up top there? But I don't see a rope to get up there. Oh, I almost forgot. You see this adorable furball, one of my assistants? They're not very talkative, but very diligent. Use your soap board to slide along their silk strings and join me. Oh, that's how I do it. Dang, okay, so it's just like, whoa, this is... <gasps> and you can just keep using it. It doesn't... I thought it would just be like a run and slide thing, but no, you can just do it, do it, do it to it. Oh, that's pretty sick. All over the place. I love soap boards now. Hello, lady. How are you? Ah, so you're Milo. Ah, so you're Milo. Welcome to the most distinguished brewery in the whole house. It is also the only brewery in the whole house. Since everyone started gor gorging themselves on their nasty cheap dom uh, dumas, the art of distilling nectar has been lost and people are content with whatever junk they can get their hands on. Your eyes glimmer with interest. You wish to help? In each room, I'll be there to collect the pollen you find and use it to make the most resplendent vintages. Oh, vintages of honey, nectar, stuffs. Now we gotta go up top to talk to the other boy, but first, I wanna try this out. So we just jump onto it and use the- Oh, we're grinding now. I see you're finally operational. 
Come with me, I know where we should start looking. The second component we need to find is a banner located in the city of Sanctar. This way, Milo Den, go through here as soon as you are ready. I ain't not ready yet, I didn't talk to the other boy. I don't want to be rude. I got to introduce myself. Hello there. Thief! Vermin! The collection! Bring it back! What did you do with the artifacts, villain? Wait. It wasn't you, was it? No, indeed. You're too small. Mm hmm Welcome to the Ardwin Museum. I am the curator, Mr. Prattle. Unfortunately, our establishment has suffered an odious and villainous attack! Most of our collection has vanished. The, the, the dynast guards are looking into it, but you know how it is. I need all the help I can get. Bring me back the artifacts in good condition, and I will offer to you the greatest of rewards, my knowledge! Okay, buddy. I like the, the cut of your jib, even though you called me out first, but he's all about trying to put things back together, and I enjoy that about him. Now, do I need to keep, like, discovering this world? I can't get over there just yet. Oh, wait, maybe I can. I just probably need to jump. Oh, going up higher. Are we going to collect more people? There's a duder over here, and then there's a way up there. These are probably to all the rest of the levels. But I'm having fun. I can't believe how high up we are, though. And what happened? I just realized, what happened to all my tiny kid? Oh, yeah. Can we just, uh, woo, and then go down? Hello. I guess we're going through this way. Here is the entrance to Sanctar, a place of sacred pilgrimage dedicated to the Great Ardwin. The banner belongs to a pious shield bug named Solaria. This object is very important to her, and she won't give it up easily. I have a spare key for Sanctar obtained through totally legitimate means. Here. Why are you going to say it like that? I, just, I wasn't calling you out. I'm counting on you, and I can't wait to see all the things you'll do with the tiny kin. Neither can I. Oh, you got a silk buggerino right there? Hells yeah. Can I pick this up, or do I need... I need somebody to hold it for me. Nice. Now, how are you guys going to get over here? Oh, they can just jump arenes? Wait, I got to see this. How are they going to do this one? Can they come up? Oh, I tried. Oh, my bubble pop. Oh, but I don't, it doesn't look like you take fall damage. I fell from a pretty high spot. I just wanted to turn around and see how they got up the string. But I wasn't paying attention to where I was. Oh, this thing's blocking my way. They all just shot up here. They won't follow you from one room to another. They're not very brave, but they'll be waiting for you if you come back. Oh, okay. I guess I gotta find my own tiny kin that live in this area. I'm starting back from square one then, I guess. Aw, oh, sad days. But that's okay. A brand new adventure. Whoa, wait, was that eyeball just open on the... What? Fantastic, onwards to Sanctar. Oh, you're going in too? Nice. Do I just pop on down with you? Can I go through? Oh, we can go through like that. Whoa, hello. You guys are sick. Oh, that's Solaria, one of the bugs. Ah, to be back in Sanctar. Congratulations, companions. The expedition has borne fruit. What a haul. So many unknown objects in this strange relic. By Ardwin. I feel that it is what we need to complete our quest. Hard to say, but I appreciate your enthusiasm. It is indeed about time we solve the mystery of the uh, canticle echoing through our minds. Generations upon generations of shield bugs and Ardwin himself are counting on us. Okay, what's... Are you guys being brainwashed or something? Sanctar. The unsung canticle? Canticle? Is that because you guys live in a can? Like, what is this all about? Dude, I love the I love the art because everything... Oh, that button uh, reminds me. If, you, if you're enjoying the video so far, please like, comment, subscribe. Click all the buttons. Do it. Go down there. Click, smash everything. Do what you need to do. Do all that sellout crap. I much appreciate it. Ah, welcome to Sanctar, a land consecrated by the melody of Ardwin's kind of, uh, cant cantic? I still don't know what the frick a canticle is. Only the shield bugs can hear his voice. Strange, isn't it? This mystery resists all attempts to solve it. Any help you can offer will be appreciated. Speaking of mysteries, our missionaries have just discovered something. A large, round relic. Go take a look. If you miss it, you must be blind. Haha. -ha. Okay, these guys are nice at least. I thought maybe we'd have problems with them. Convincing Solaria to give up the banner will not be an easy task. It seems that the Sanctine shield bugs want to broadcast Ardwin's canticle to make it accessible to everyone, but how? Something tells me this large circle is the key. Also, I wonder why the little shield bug nearby is so excited. 
Okay, so we gotta do something with a CD and this little shield bug. Is it just me or does he have a face on his abdomen? He does. Why do you look so sad? Why don't adults ever... Why don't adults ever listen to me? The relic must be carried to the cupboard up there. Are you sure? Oh, it looks like it. The relic and the poster have the same picture. I'd do it myself, but I'm too small. You can use the pink tiny kin, right? Throw a few of them on the relic. They'll take care of it. And the, the guards won't mind if I just, like, freaking pick them up. Look, it, they're all just making their home. Wait, a red boy? Oh, I love that we get a little animation every time we see a different color. Uh-oh. Uh, never mind. I don't like this. Get out of here. No, he just yeeted this boy. Where is he? Oh. Hello? So he just... So these blow things up. Wait, that first guy's dead? No. Oh, I killed him. The first boy's gone. And our guy just stays up here. Oh, whoops. We didn't We didn't jump right. How many of these do I need? Ten? We're gonna off to collect ten. Gimme, gimme, gimme everything. Did I just burn my ass on a candle and... Soapiness? Oh, okay. We just bouncy. Boom, 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 boom. Look at all the freaking stuffs up here. We got all the nectar. We need this for our lady. How much of this place? We need to collect everything. There's so much nectar all over the place. Let me scoop, scoop, scoop it up. Dude, I love this. There's like mantis people here. Uh, why have you been... Why have I been what? What, what, who's has been? Also, what? Listen. Oh, there's something about that that's just like warming me up inside. Ah, oh, dang it, I fell over. Well, I guess I wanted to pick these up anyway. Wait, how the... Oh, I need to blow them up? With my blowy up boys? Oh no, are they gone forever? Are we, we, uh, I wonder, I wonder if they give you enough in this level to interact with everything. Or if you have to pick and choose. Hopefully this is a game where you can just like discover and unlock everything. Oh, that sound again. We did it. What, do we need more bomby boys? Do we have enough? Hopefully we do. I think we have so. Wait, we have six. Yes. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Scoop, scoop, scoop it up. This is also freaking cool. I love this so much. Oh, wait. There's a box here. What are you going to do? Oh, you uh, unleash a rope so I can get back up here easily if I need to for later. And there's some pollen in that plant over there. The houses are cool. I love that there's a cat house. We were in there a little bit, but not on top. It looks like it separates. There's a huge TV. Oh, I can't wait to go over there. And in that building, and there's freaking shelves. Oh, there's pollen up there. Dude, there's pollen everywhere in this level. Why is it in the air? Are we going to get the ability to fly? Oh, please, yes. Tell me that we will get the ability to fly. That would be very cool for me. I would love. What are you doing over here, bud? What? Are you telling me something? I have explored dark. Dark what? Can I do pushies? What's that go? Oh, it's a reclining chair. Hey, we unlocked a whole... That is... That is a... Oh, I love it. Oh, developers, you are so good. I love that that was a thing. Recline the chair, get that. Oh, it also lets you come back here. Oh, boy. I'm nerding it. I'm having a nerdgasm right now. This is all just so great. Oh, my lord. What? There's like a little sphinx thing over here? This is pretty dynamite. What is this also? Matches? Oh, it's a little dude. Oh, it's silk. Oh, my goodness. Silk boy. Oh, that's probably what it is. We don't fly, but if we find these silk boy assistants... We can get across the room easier. And what is this? Kefra? The statue is not what is not what? The statue is not far from being a masterpiece, but it's missing something, don't you think? I have a good nose for art. Is it oh it's oh of course it is. It's missing a nose. Oh, we have to find the nose and then slap the nose on it. I love it. Let's go. Wait, I think I found the nose all the way up here at the bookshelf. On top of it. Now we just gotta get down there where the Sphinx is. Press R to toggle the augmented reality on your glasses. What do you mean, augmented reality? Is Are things different with my glasses on? Like, what's going on? Is it just let me see things? Better things that are important? Why are you showing me that up here? Is there something? Is that just because this is a lookout spot? I don't know, but hopefully we should just... I should be able to just, uh... Float on down here. Whee! We did it! And now, give him the nose! That is a lot different than the nose he should have. I don't like what you did to this boy. How does it smell? 
Oh, it shows us the achievement right there. Pretty nice. We got a bunch of stuff, and that guy's happy. And we can surf this wicked tread the gnar. Oh, this is freaking cool. Oh, this is the best. Oh, I love this. Oh, there's so much stuff to explore and to find. Wait, there you go. Release my nectar. Oh, we got bionicles. Bionicles? Oh, my goodness. I've been talking about bionicles with people too much lately. Remember bionicles? Do they still have bionicles? Press uh, R to toggle the augmented reality on your glasses. Why do you need me to do this so much, huh, game? I, that, I, that can fall over. That's like a drawbridge. But what does it all mean? And should I use... Should I have uh, the CD with me? Or should I just keep exploring? I think I'm just going to keep exploring for now. Wait a second. Can I use these guys to pull these books out? Or no, we're pushing them back in. What does that do, though? Oh, it just got us some uh, pollen nectar. Wait, how much of this stuff is in this? I think this is just in this area. There's a thousand. We're going to get all of it. And I talked to a little robot. One of the uh, things that tells me how to play the game. Up right, That one right there. It says something about how um, in order to get on top of the halogen, I need two full bubbles, which means we can get another one. But what is the, what is the halogen? We found another mothball man. Little mothball boy. Oh, we can go down there. Oh, let's zip down here real quick. And then we can come back up. Oh, man, I let go of it too early. I thought, well, now we know. You need to hold it to stay on here. If you let go, you fall off. We can go up here to this cat place, this lookout. with all the. I love how many different bugs are in this game. Dude, I love bugs. Like, in this kind of a setting where the bugs are the people, it only makes sense. Wait, what is this? Can I take your whatever this is? Is this some sort of play button? Oh, no, I'm taking all their food. I'm sorry, guys. That guy, he looks so pissed. Oh, you're that weird. <laughs> Ever since I picked up this big table button, the guys have been, like, moving in a direction. So that's kind of cool. They're, like, showing me the way to go. I'll get down here. G give me grabby these little guys. I don't think I have too many of those left. Wait, how many of these do I have left? Oh, actually, I have plenty. I have mostly blow-up guys. I don't have that many uh, pink dudes. Oh, that's because so many of these... I have, like, six on this guy. Oh, it's a piano key. Oh, cool. Very nice. Boosh. There we go. Now put the piano key back. And what's the, uh, what's the craziness or the, uh, relevance of the piano key? Oh, hello. Inside the radiator. Dude, these are always so dusty. I would die if I came inside of here. No, thank you. Give me out. It's probably super hot in there, too. Wait. Oh, it's just showing us. Throwing it back. Hey, the food key. Oh. And then it opens up oh, a whole new world inside the piano. I haven't even discovered anything around the piano yet. I mean, underneath the piano, yeah, but not on tops of it. Why is this guy so sad? Uh, inserting this piano key opened a passage. Would you please go and take a look inside the instrument? Melody's life may be at stake. Oh, no. We got to save a poor precious little ant. First, I got to... I'm just going to scoop up this nectar. Then we're going to make our way in there, little guy. What's your name? How can I help you? Uh, Dulcimera? Dulcimera, I like it. Are those, are, all the ant names I've been noticing are like different prefixes and suffixes of like the, of ant names or like their genus, which is pretty cool. I like it a lot. Um, are they in here? This guy still has this play button. Let me get scooping it, scooping it. Dude, this game is just so charming and cute and all the, so far, I love, I love the art and the little puzzles. I know, uh, mostly the art. Oh, it's so good. So good. I am truly, this is love at first play. This is amazing. What's down here? Of course there's secrets down here with a little tiny little candle. I forget what those are called, but just these ones. Yeah, they're all over the place. Nice touch there, guys. I don't know who put them in here, though. Who's living in here? There's a lot of candles in here. And is this actually what the inside of a piano looks like? I mean, not really. I thought, I thought it was, should all just be like this thing right here so they'd all be in line with this unless they totally just like redecorated the place completely. Uh, where's Melody? Oh, is she stuck in here? There you are. We got him up. Now what? Oh, there you are. Phew. I'm used to dealing with this old piano. It normally goes out of tune over time, but this happened overnight. Uh, sub to, subito. It was this weird golden coin. It was tangled in the strings. I tried to pull it out, but I got stuck. Thanks for getting me out of here. Don't worry. I know the way out. I'll leave you the golden coin. You might figure out what to do with it. 
A golden coin. Oh, that's sick. Collectibles. I loves it. Intact honor. Museum artifact. Oh, that's what that is. One of three? It belongs in a museum. And then is this the way out for me? The quick ways out? Oh, it is. On to the next adventure. Another mothball boy. Oh, he goes over there. Oh, we can collect these coins real quick like. Swoop. Oh, dude, I love shredding the gnar, man. This is tight, gnarly, dude. We could do it. Oh, yeah, I so forgot I could just soap boy around. I don't have to freaking just do my thing on my legs. That's lame. Wait, how does I... Oh, I see how does I... This whole shelf's coming down. Whee! Boink. Bonk. Oh, I almost just killed that dude. And that, that person. Oh, my goodness. That's almost out of here. I was almost a murderer. I don't want to be a murderer. Wait, I found a tuning fork underneath the chair because I finally remembered to check that out. And apparently we got to go inside with it. So I guess that's the next place we go. We also found an envelope at the very tippity top of the, where was it? The piano? Yeah, the piano shelf all the way up there. We still got the couch world to discover and the TV world is what I'm calling this middle section. And then the end of it, which is over here. We got to go that way? Are we allowed to go that way? Is this like a shrine? What, is, what the frick is that thing? Oh, those are its eyeballs. Oh, that makes it look so much different. What are you supposed to be in some sort of dragonfly? You look sick, boy. And there's all sorts of different beetles. Like, look at these. Oh my gosh, different Hercules-style beetles. Another one of that. Wait, what's this? Um, hello? Can I carry this? Oh, I have to carry this with me? Hey, you have a thing here. I want that. Is this the little kid area? Wait a second, why? What are you guys talking about? Why are you guys being rude to each other? Don't be rude dudes with bad dudes. Oh, I gotta take all that stuff and figure out what the torning fork does. Oh, and there's a freaking... There's a bunch of matchsticks or are these mothball guys? No, I guess they're just matchsticks just to make the fire. Okay, I guess. Bunch of little beetle boys and boys and dudes and whatevers. Hey, what is... What's happening right now? Oh, it's one of those things. It's a music frog. Oh, I loves it. They're just doing their own thing without me. I see how it is. Whatever, you guys are great doing your own job. I don't have to tell you what to do. It makes my life a lot easier. Oh, underneath the couch? This is kind of cool. I mean, it's really linty though. I would die. But it's really nice. And I also noticed that each one of these little sections, like I'm right to call this like couch world. And then we had the middle place, which is now like bug church. And because every place has like its own music, I just realized. Like there's nothing really playing in here, but at first there was. Oh, we got one of these secret nectars like we got from the frog. Oh, we actually almost have a thousand. Wait, I don't feel like I'm... Is there more than a thousand in here? Do I just need a thousand for like the next upgrade or something? I guess we'll find out very soon what that all means. Hey, move the glass out of my way, okay? What else? Is there nothing else in here? We discovered all underneath the couch then, I guess. There is a section over here? Another spot underneath? I guess I needed a lot of blow up boys. I don't have any more blowy up boys? Oh no, what has life come to? Okay, we got some blowy up boys. I think we should be good. Oh, I just could have went around the other side. I guess that means there's something back here for my boys to pick up. 25? Oh no. I need 10 more. Another obstacle in my way. Wait, how do we get under the couch though? Oh, we got a little spot back here. Are there any uh, boys and girls back here that want to help me pick things up or blow things up? Hello? We got some blowy ups. Boo. I, I like this guy. Boo. G Casper or Gasper? Boo. Uh, <laughs> I enjoy his presence. Another mothball boy. Oh, hell yeah. We can shred the NARS so far. Oh, but we've been up there before. Why are there so many ways to get up here? We still need another line from there. I think I have... How many things do I have? Oh, it won't tell me in the corner. Wait, how many? I need five more of the, the pink tiny kin so I can uh, move that camera on down bot there. Oh, uh, no. I want to shred the nard back over there and see what's up with uh, this lamp. There's also a lamp over there. That has a little bit of something on it, but they're not so easy to climb. And I wonder what these notes are for. See, look at this. This is... How am I supp Can I throw... 
one of you up there so you can collect it? Is that... That's not how that works. Um, can I step on this button? No. These are normally, like, coiled like a straw in a way that you can bend these. Like, I like these kind of lamps, but my tiny kin, I guess, don't have the strength to do that themselves. So I guess I... How many do I have now? Uh, 19? I'm missing one, or is that because one's in my hand? If I throw it... No, it says 19. Did we lose a dude? Oh, no, he's carrying the envelope. Okay, so I think in order to move the camera, I gotta help the dudes and dudettes with the tuning fork first. So you guys gotta get across this gap. I gotta push that down. Oh, that means I have to go up there, but what does this do? This just lets this open farther? Why does that matter? Is there gonna be- was there something big that was gonna move through here that I needed? Absolutely, or... I don't know. I don't really know what's going on, but I like how these are like little house structures in here wait oh we had three we need one more envelope what are those guys these guys are disturbing hello are you guys okay um you guys you you guys are on uppers and downers it looks like i can't i don't, I don't trust you guys you guys are shady it's all in the eyes they don't they don't have really inviting eyes either way all any way about them oh i just realized this is so freaking cool i used to do this as a kid with the VHS's and then I'd make like houses out of them and garages. We had so many. It was, oh, that was like some of the best memories. Oh, that used to be so much fun. And aren't these matchbox beds like a bit of a fire hazard? I don't know. I ain't no fire doctor. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, all the way. Every, it looks like the cat house is the shred the gnar hub. But it also looks like we can do this if we have enough blowy uppy boys. We do. Okay. We only got two left though. Hopefully there's not too much to blow up left. Oh, there's the stereo. Oh no, but there's like electricity going on. What do we... Do we need to fix something with that? Oh, that's where the CD goes. But we needed the tuning fork to help with the electricity, I guess. I didn't know you could do that with tuning forks, but... I don't know, I'm not a science doctor. I don't know how those things work. Wait, this guy says he was missing a precious ring or something? His name's Arsen. I don't know if I like that name. Uh, hello? I was just talking about how I don't know uh, about being a fire doctor, so don't you uh, be suspicious there, my boy. You look like an agile fellow. Would you mind getting in there and turning the machine back on? It's the only way to get the gem out. Oh. The pointed tool up there would be most likely uh, to help you open the box. But how in the frick? In my opinion, you would need a good two bubbles of flight to reach it. How do I get two bubbles? It would be better if I were not uh, seen snooping around. Bring me the gem if you find it. I also found the last letter next to the fragile. There's a, um, there's apartment buildings over here on the right side of the TV, but I think we need to go down bottom. We gotta, but we gotta figure out, I was trying to figure that earlier too, like how to get two bubbles. It doesn't, is there an upgrade station someplace, any place? Oh, look at this little guy. Traveler, have you seen? Traveler, have you seen the Etard grade drawing on the relic the shield bugs found? It's the same as the one above the cupboard where the cryptic machine is. They'll work it out soon. Better leave them be. Be cautious, traveler. Oh no, but I want your thing. Oh no, I can't take your thing because I need more blowy uppy boys. But there's some in here. I'll be back. This is pretty cool. <laughs> they worship like a dinosaur doll, it looks like, at the bottom of the TV box down here. And I gotta flip this witchy thing by throwing some more dudes on it so what does that do it opens up this whole thing oh to the public there you go very nice but i don't know really what that did do i oh, i do have two more blow yuppie boys like i wanted one two there you are thank you for that i'm leaving now bye oh this is where you get the bubble apparently i got enough pollen i got the a thousand and then it kicked back up to 1600 it's ready another bottle for my collection Glider bubble. Nice. So that's what it meant at the top when I was picking some up and it had that jar next to it. Or was that for collecting 1600? I don't know, but I got the extra glide I needed for that. But where do I... Where do I unscrew it when I get it? So can I fly over there from here? I know I can probably get into this thing. Is this thing just a lamp? Oh, for a second, I don't know why, but I thought it was like a giant like wood shredder or something but that wouldn't make a lot of sense now would it wait can i just get somebody to pick it up for me i can now where do it go and this glidey bits oh it's right down here 
here you are probably and i don't know but i think when he goes whoa that means i might take fall damage but nothing in this I don't, I don't think i would unless it would just be like hey start over from your last checkpoint or whatever there's so many there's already there are bugs stuck in here how'd you get in here feller and what is what is oh hello um how does that work did i need a tuning fork for this also um, it looks like I need to use this to get over here, which I already have, so that's splendiferous. And then I can probably... Oh, I need to move this dude over. And is that all that... Oh, I needed to turn on the TV? I can see me inside there. Oh, sick. Oh, and then... Oh, it's not an actual ring, of course. Of course it's a ring pop. I should have seen that coming. Oh, man. Silly me. And we got some blowy uppy boys and a little bit of bits. See, there's 1,600 left... Um, or 1600 to get, I guess, in this level? Oh, frick me. Hey, bud, there you go. Oh, he's like a ninja. Oh, no, are you a burglar? Aha, you are a true gentleman. You know, on further reflection, I'm sure I'll be able to make better use of this gem than its original owner. Here, I, uh, I understand that you are interested in this kind of collector's items. It so happens that my friends uh, and I have been lucky enough to find a few by chance. Really? Are you crazy? Is that a water bear? If you are interested in this kind of work, please talk to my companions. We all wear the same mask. Oh, cool. Nice. I'm working with thieves, the creature. Are we ever going to find one of those? No, those are microscopic. Unless somehow they got like a huge one. Wait, two out of three. Does that mean there's one more left in this area? I think it might be over here where I have to give these freaky dudes the, uh, the ladder. Here you go. Oh, no, that just gives me more uh, nectar pollen stuff. First class meal. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there's a hundred some odd left. Okay, finally, it's time to pick up this BD and bring it back to its rightful place. I'm missing... I tried to... I got that that um little bit of nectar on top of the light thing right there. Freaking... What? Lamp? <laughs> That's the word. From going on top of the bookshelf and then gliding on top of the door and getting over. So that was pretty easy. Hey, guys, wait up. This is so freaking cool. <laughs> I decided uh, you can jump on some objects that they're carrying, so it's just a free way out. Now, when they put this on, oh, I just come off. Nice. Okay, we got the CD. Now we just need the play button, which we can put right there. And then I think it's all good. We can play the CD. Nice, everybody gets their music. Hi, right, fireworks. Cool. I love it. Oh, everybody's so happy. Hopefully, it's good music. Or maybe they don't care, they just like the vibe, they just like jamming. They don't care what the music is, as long as it's music. Oh, everybody's so happy. I hope every world's like this. Oh, how is this possible? Ardwin's canticle, it resounds throughout Sanctar. Even the ants can hear it. Now the voice of the creator can be heard, studied by all. Did Ardwin himself send you? As a reward for your efforts for the good of all Sanctar, Miloden, I grant you my most precious treasure. What that? Is that the banner we needed? Oh, that's the banner we needed all along. My banner, handed down since the ancient times. Carry it proudly, friend, as a servant of Ardwin. That I will do, buddy. I need some of these guys to help carry it for me. And away we go. Hopefully I can come back here to get the little bit of nectar for this place so I can complete it. I'm trying to look around. It's probably like destructible things because I still have some blowy uppy boys left. Yeah, I still have seven. Wait, where are you guys going? Why are we going... Why are we going this way? Is this another, just another way into the vents to carry it out? I don't know if I really searched over here too well. There's some ants here. All that lugging around on a little matchbox car, dominoes. Dude, I love the use of all like the little game toys and stuff and just everything. Oh, it's so good. I can't stop raving about it. This is so cool. Well done, Melodin. I am very impressed. Let's go inside this tunnel leading to Chris All and add this component to the machine without further ado. Congratulations, Billiton! Hey, I don't know why I needed a top part like that, but that's cool. We've added a new component to the Great Ardwin's Machine. By the way, I know someone who might be able to help us in our ongoing quest. My old friend, Sikaru, the brewer. The... this lady? Hello. Is that a thimble on your head, or is that like a top to a wine? It looks like a wine cork, actually. Ah, Millerden, there you are! Ridme told me you use soap bubbles to glide, is that right? During the distillation process, I collect soap bubbles from the foam. I don't generally use it, but this time I kept some aside for you. Call it uh, a welcome present. 
another one? So each time you come by with enough pollen for a new vintage, I'll give you more soap. Oh, this is awesome! Now I got triple bubble glider! Wait, you can get so many! I just saw it up there for a split second. It looked like there were at least seven. When you came here, the tank in your suit was completely empty, but these bubble should help fill it. If all goes as planned, you should be able to glide for longer. Forever! The big funnel in the uh, Felonia Heights in the heart of Mantis territory. We can make our way there by going through Sanctuary. I'll see you there. Oh, that's what the other vent was. Why is there a vent? There's so many vents in this room. Are there none that lead to there or only when coming back? Hello? Wait, I want to talk to my boy up there first to see if I got any. Uh, get anything from him for giving him the, uh, the runes, the ancient text stuffs backs. I don't, I don't know what it is. I think it's a coin. Oh, it's already here. Oh, cool. Hello. I have rigorously inspected what you brought and it's all in perfect condition. If you want to find out more about the artifacts in the museum, move a little closer and I'll tell you all about them. Let's see, what is this about? Intact honor? Whoa, he got over here fast. This is intact honor. Ardwin owned two plaques of this type. The first was almost destroyed by him in a fit of rage. This one, however, was very carefully looked after. According to Ardwin, this medal belonged to someone close whose honor remained intact. It is difficult to conceive what sort of being could be more honorable than the creator himself. As we try to understand, we keep a close eye, so th this plaque may remain immaculate. Thank you for its swift return. So I'm getting a, a, a vibe that Ardwin is like maybe both really musically and engineerically inclined. If engineerically is a, even a word. I don't know, I'm not a word doctor. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to end it off here. This has been going on for a while now. And uh, I'm loving it though. Dude, I want to get... I want to discover all the secrets. There's so much. Oh, this game's so much better than it led on. Like, you can't judge a game by its cover. You can't judge a book by its cover. You can't judge a person by its cover. Like, when I first saw this screenshots of this game, I was like, this looks interesting. And I really wanted to play it because of the the type of game it is. Like, you're super tiny in a, in a house. And it's like a whole world with territories and everything. And there's bugs and little, like, weird alien creatures. That was another selling point for me, but then I got in, and it's so much better than I could have ever imagined. So, yeah, this has been, oh, fantabulous. So, I do hope you enjoyed. I know I sure did. And if you did, remember these three things. You're beautiful. I appreciate you, and have a great one. Bye-bye.